Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. If you haven't been on recently and you have checked out some of the past episodes, you can see that a lot has changed here in the game. Visually, I guess you could say, other than my truck is no longer the big Jess trucking rig that I had. I currently have one of my other drivers using that. As you can see here, I can't remember who it was. Jonathan? Nope, he's got the army truck. He has it, and he has one of my trailers. I currently have the Lightning McQueen truck and trailer, but right now, if you notice, the biggest difference in my game is visuals. I have added reshade into my game. I've only played it at night. I haven't seen it during the day yet, but if it's anything like what you see right here, I can't wait to see it. So right now we are exploring the awesome DLC of Wyoming. Whoops, I don't want to do that. But we are running through. We are up in Jackson right now, and today we are going to head up through what is supposed to be the Yellowstone area. I think we're going to go ahead and head up here, and then we'll cut back down through and head back into Riverton. I currently have both my other drivers working for me, making me money, so I'm just out exploring the map checking things out. I do have a new garage that I just recently purchased. Where was it? It was on this route. Oh, where was it? Oh, in Jackson, right here in Jackson. So I have three more slots open there. I'm hoping to find me a garage somewhere down here in Utah that I can, I'm thinking it's going to be right in this area. I'll have to go check that out another time because we are exploring Wyoming right now. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump on out there and click our little marker up here in the rest area. And we are going to head up into Wyoming. As you can see, we're currently sitting in Jackson. Tell me that does not look amazing. A little Lightning McQueen action going on. Oh man, let's go ahead and pop up our, go to in cab. See, even the end cab, I mean, look at the detail on the, that detail right there, the concrete out the window, the material on the seats, you can see like the little patterns in it. Star shining bright. Now it was raining when I originally started this stream last night. It started off as a live stream. You can go check out that video if you'd like. Went for about an hour and a half. Okay, let's get our side mirrors up. Well, I don't need the one on this side get our GPS up. I've been practicing running without the GPS and just using the dash controls. But let's go ahead and get on the road and head on up into Yellowstone. Now I did order me the track IR system last night, so I should have that coming. It's probably gonna be about a week out there in limited stock on Amazon, so. But it is on the way. Can't wait to get that hooked up and using it. Well, we need to get over here before this car catches up to us because we're gonna be making a left turn up here. Yeah, I know, I'm speeding. See the sun's coming up. We're gonna be hitting into the Yellowstone Park. I'm thinking, no, this wouldn't, I was going to say this, just, it kind of reminds me of West Yellowstone, but we're in, supposed to be in Jackson. I'm thinking the route that we're going to be taking back out of Yellowstone is going to take us down through the Tetons. Yeah, this area here reminds me of West Yellowstone a lot. So today is Friday, September 10th. Hope you guys are having a fantastic week. We've almost made it to the weekend. Turn left. We don't want to hit that car. There you can see the arches with the antlers over here. Tea time. 
We should have the Cowboy Saloon over here to the left. Right there. Yep. Cowboy Bar or whatever it is. Ranch Bar. Right there's the arches. All right, let's head on out of town and get up into Yellowstone. Really digging this with the reshade added in. I mean, you can see the details in the asphalt and everything just looks so amazing. I can't wait to see the outside version at during the daytime. Yes, I'm speeding, I know. Ah. All right, speed limit jumps up 55. I don't care, I'm going. Climb a little hill, I need to get up speed quick. Now, I don't like how the, if you see right there on the hood, the way the lines are. And that issue with the all right, we're gonna stop and see if we can fix that. See the Tetons? Oh, okay, yeah, we're heading out of Jackson, so we got the Tetons right there. Nice. Gorgeous mountains. Oh, if you've never been there and you can, oh, sh I should have pulled off right there. All right, we're swinging back around. Hope nobody's coming behind me. Gotta do some screenshots at the Tetons, right? that car wasn't right there. Maybe I can push it out of the way. <laughs> Sun coming up in the Tetons. All right. Okay, we're going to pull up. See how close we can get to this car. See if we can get the Teton sign in the Oh, that looks good. That looks good. All right. I like that. Let's go back in camera, in car, in vehicle. There we go. Get our mirror set up. Back up a little bit so we don't hit this guy. Let's get on the road. Nothing's coming because I'm not stopping. Just take out that pole back there. It's all right. There's plenty more where that came from. Got us a roundabout here. discovered a new viewpoint. Where was it? Oh, it's right here. So we are stopping. <clears throat> if I'd have known this was here, I would have just... Re Looks like one of the airplanes coming into the Jackson airport. Alright, let's check out this viewpoint here. Get us some screenshots.
Like I was saying, if you guys have never been to the Tetons and you can go to the Tetons, do it. It's amazing. I mean, to get up close to those mountains, it's just in awe. Such a beautiful area. And if you can hit it at the right time of the year, there's wildlife everywhere up there. I don't want that screenshot. You can see the layers of the... Ooh, I like that. I'll have to work on that. Hopefully I don't have to remove too much of the reshade out of there to get that fixed. Oh wait, let's get that with the mountains in the background. There we go. I just don't want that press escape to skip in my screenshots. My truck. All right. Let's jump back, get our engine started. Get back out on the road. We got stuff to see. Turn back. Nothing coming that way. I'll... All the buffalo out here waking up in the morning. Anything coming? Nope. Nope. Ah, that looks good. Let's... Ooh. There goes somebody by me. Alright. Ooh, big truck coming. Nothing that way. Nothing that way. Let's go. Now, I've never seen that many buffalo this close to the area when we were there. But once you get up into the park, they are quite abundant. I think once the sun gets up and I got a lot more light shining, I might play with the reshade settings one more time. All the water. got here what lake keep left and then turn back turn left more injunction this should be <clears throat> This should be the entranceway to the Tetons. Have to stop and say hi to the park ranger. Wonder if they're going to charge me the $35 to Commercial trucking is prohibited in this area. You have to turn around and go back? No. I'm not doing anything. How am I supposed to explore this area if I can't get my truck in here? Do I have the option to use a... Like, a different vehicle? That's all right. I'm going to explore it anyways. What are they going to do? Find me? I mean, we could go over here and drop our trailer and then go explore. Rerouting. 
Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll go drop our trailer and then go explore. Hopefully our trailer's there when we get back. Get our trailer lined up here. Alright, we'll disconnect our trailer. All right, now let's go check out the park. Pretty sure I'll wish that I had my trailer with me, but that's all right. Just for screenshot reasons. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Got the Tetons there in the background. Be bear aware. Oh, speed limit's forty five, okay. I wonder if this is Jenny Lake. All right, yeah, definitely the reshade's something you want to play with. Right now, I think that road is just too dark, too detailed. And it's driving me crazy. I'm really sorry about this, guys. I That's driving me nuts. Driving. Let's see. Clarity? No. Dehaze. All right. Yeah, we're going to turn the dehaze off for right now just to lighten it up a little bit. There we go. We'll go with that. Got a car coming. We're going to cut them off. Coming over. Also, speed limit is 70. Holy crap. Yellowstone National Park. How you doing, people? Mm. We'll stop there and get a picture on the way back. Hey, I had to pay a toll. All right. $20. What's the fire danger today? Low? All right. I know the sign said 35, but that says 45 on my speedometer. West Thump Geyser Basin. I want to go that way. 
wonder if they have Old Faithful on here. They, you'd think they would have to. I mean... Okay. I mean, that's like the mainstay of Yellowstone, right? So it's got to be on here. I need to work on my horse feedback on my wheel. It's really, really bumpy. See, they probably have us turn. This is probably Old Faithful right here. Government area? Interesting. You'd think they'd have to have Old Faithful in it. <clears throat> this is where we're heading. Yep, this is where we're heading. Ah, I like the fire trucks. Police car. Go down here, turn around, we'll go back and pick up our trailer and head to Rawlings. I think that's where it was. <clears throat> Looks somebody shoveling stuff over there. Can we go around right here? All of these tire marks. don't need to rest as you guys can see if you look there by my little GPS gauge there I took the sleep setting off because it was interfering too much with my um, deliveries and stuff the time moved so fast in here it was like I'd drive for a little while next thing you know I'd be tired and I'd have to stop. I did a delivery for that. The one I did for my four video episode, it wasn't going to be four videos, but it ended up that way because it took so long. I ended up having to stop like four times to take a rest, and it ended up supposed to be like an 18 hour trip, ended up being like 60. See if we can get the fire truck in the picture here. Yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, let's get this stuff off the screen. I like that. Get our mirrors back, our GPS, and go get our trailer. See you guys. Thanks for all you do. Now we can turn off that for a little while. We know the way back out of here. Looks like a deer right across the road there. Yep. Nothing coming. I seriously can't wait to get my track IR system so that I can stop playing with my mouse while I'm... Jeez, that person didn't even stop. Holy hell. So I can stop playing with my mouse while I'm videoing or recording and driving. I can just look side to side. Some more animals. Oh, they're all over the place. Holy cow.
See, I wish they would have gave us at least over to that turn that area, you know, give us access to that so that we can go up and turn around. Looks like there is one right up here ahead of us that we can make a left on. We'll do that. We'll go up and swing around south entrance. Oh, that's just the we'll check this out. This I think this is just part of the visitor center. Maybe? No, it's dirt road. Oh man, this <laughs> is shaking my steering wheel so bad. Holy crap. I don't know if you can hear it on the microphone. Oh my god. Looks like they're in a drought also. See, that's really bright. My whole desk is shaking, holy crap. Let's get back out here on the road. Hope nothing's coming. Nope, all right. We're good, we're good. Your speed. And of course, we have to stop and get a picture of the Yellowstone sign. Oh, there's, there's the bus. I'm going to say there should be a bus right here. People still out taking selfies in front of the sign? Yep, with their selfie stick. Wonder if we can scare him. Nope. Yeah. I need to set my cameras up on my stream deck. Let's see, we're gonna pull up. That looks good. I have plenty of spots on my stream deck. I could still do that. So maybe I'll do that. I'll just set up the cameras on my deck. And this stuff. All right, let's go get our trailer. Let those people enjoy their permanent selfie. Now our trailer's all the way back down in the Tetons. Because they told us we weren't allowed to bring it in the park with us. Yorks. See that road is bright right there. We're doing 45, all right. Gorgeous lake over there. So the speed limit's 45 and we're doing 52. Should be right up here, yep. Trader right, should be right over there. We'll
swing around and pick it up. Back on up here and get our trailer. Looks like we're right on line for that. Man, I'm getting a lot better at this backing crap. <laughs> Can't see anything out there. All right. Slow down. We're almost there. And hook up. And here comes the rain. Okay, interesting. Now see, that looks good. I like the way the water looks on the windows. Turn off our reverse there. I like that. That looks good. Turn on our wipers. But, that being said, this is where I'm going to end this episode of Exploring Wyoming. Let's jump into the map real quick. Like I say, we just went up from Jackson up into Yellowstone and unlock that area like if you look at the map though we have a ton we haven't even been into new mexico uh we've barely cut the corner of idaho we've gone up through here but yeah we got a lot to do we've only explored 12.84 percent of this map our area that we have but anyways, like I say, that's where we're going to end this episode. We've been going for a little over 40 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. A little bit of Wyoming there for you. Probably jump into it on the next one too and do a little more exploring. But if you did, please click the like button. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And click the little bell if you'd like to be notified when we go live and stream. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Have a good weekend and be safe out there. Bye.